it has been a while since I've played this game, so I, I might need a second. So let's see. Mayor Klaus's request. That's a... So these green ones are the main story. Um, mushroom hunt. Looking for a rare mushroom that grows only where there are rich deposits of septium on the ground. Should be an easy, fun job. See me out. My name is Orvid, and I'll be waiting at the landing port. So I need to go to the landing port for that one. Looking for someone to replace a malfunctioning orb orbment light in a road lamp on the Milch Main Road. And, uh, okay, let's, let's start by getting those before I forget. I'm gonna lose track of who wants what. Are you the person I needed to talk to? Oh, hey there. You two new bracers seem to be having some success lately. I've been hearing a lot about your hard work recently. Yeah, that's because we're still new at this, so we have to work extra hard. That's encouraging to hear. You guys actually came at a good time. I've got an urgent job that needs to be taken care of. Do you think that you'd be up to the task of replacing an orbment light in a road lamp along the Milch Main Road? You just leave it to us. If you're fine with us doing the job, then we'll gladly accept. Thanks, I really appreciate this. I completely forgot it needed to be replaced today. First off, I'll need you to give you the replacement part. Received orbment light. This is a replacement orbment? That's right. I want you to replace the orbment light and lamp, road lamp number six on the Milch Main Road to the west. Number six. Number six. I don't know if that's going to be important, but I'll try to remember. It's the sixth road lamp that you'll come across counting from Roland's west entrance. Make sure you get the right one. Okay. <laughs> I think I've got it. The sixth road lamp from Roland's west entrance, right? Once you found the road lamp, you'll need to open the maintenance panel. You'll need a six-digit combination to open it. Are you serious? Yep, the combination for this. Okay. All right. I didn't think that. I don't know if this is important, but who knows? Yep, the combination for the sick road lamp is 544818. I'm sorry, but could you repeat that again? It's 544818. That's right. Good memory, Joshua. Show off. After the combination is entered, the panel will open, and after that, all that's left is to replace the orbment. It may seem like a simple task, but make sure not to mess it up. The road lamp may have been out of order for a while now. I see. The lamp of the orbments keeps the large monsters away, right? It's not much more than an unconscious dislike for them. But if they do go out, then we run into real problems. Which is why I'm asking you to do the job, just in case. These road lamps are placed just off the roads in areas where monsters are more li most likely to appear. Well, you just leave those monsters to me and I'll take care of them. But I'd better write down that combination before I forget. Then maybe you should let me deal with the combination instead. I'll leave it up to you two to divide up the work amongst yourselves. That should be everything you need to know, so good luck! If you need to double check or cancel the job, come and talk with me again. Okay, and then I think I had one with the... Do, 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 where is it? The, the chapel, maybe it was? was it, I don't know who it was. I see. I completely agree with your inspired words. Okay. The greater the light, the darker the shadow becomes. When one soul is touched by a blinding light, it becomes conscious of the darkness within and embraces a contrite spirit. Especially those who are tormented by the sins of their past. Hmm. However, through this ordeal, one can understand the pain and suffering of others and reach a greater plane of insight. What is important for the individual is preparing for the future and deciding what one wants to do. Uh, just listening to him makes my brain hurt. Father Divine's sermons are always so difficult for me to understand. Was... Who was I supposed to talk to? Uh... Oh, landing port. Why did I think I needed to come here? Oh! I'm searching for a flower known as a bear claw and savory pinion. Okay. I did need to talk to you. Did I already talk to him in the past? 
Maybe I already talked to him last episode and I've, I've completely like pushed it out of my memory. Okay, who cares? Clearly I already talked to him. Who else do I need to talk to? Oh, the landing port, the landing port. Um, I don't remember the layout of this. That leads to the mayor, right? Where was the landing port again? It's not that way, that's... Wait, is it? No, this is right, okay. Um, you maybe? Darn bracers, how long do they intend to keep me waiting? If they don't hurry and get here, I'm going to miss my flight. I should have expected as much from a rural backwater burg like this. Huh? Well, I'll be. That's the bracer emblem, if I'm not mistaken. I've been waiting for you to show up. I have an urgent job, so do you have time to hear my request? Uh, sure. We've got some time. Great, this really helps me out. Alright, let me give you a rundown and explain the details of the job. Let me formally introduce myself. Hey, Morvid. Representative for Orvidco LTD. I'm Estelle, and this is... Joshua. It's nice to meet you. Estelle and Joshua, is it? The two of you are quite young, if I do say so myself. <laughs> We're actually pretty new to this whole bracer thing. Greenhorns? Oh well, I guess you'll have to do. Pardon? <laughs> no nothing, I'm just talking to myself. Alright, let's get down to business. Please excuse my lack of decorum, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Sure. At the moment, I'm looking for a rare mushroom called the Firefly Fungus. It's said that it only grows in soil rich with septium. The records of it being picked here in Roland, but no shop seems to carry it. However, it's a vital necessity that I need to get my hands on, so I put it in a request at the guild house. Soil rich with septium, hmm? I can only think of the Malga Trail as a possible location. Do you know any other characteristics of these mushrooms? It seems that it normally grows in areas with patches of grass. However, since it's buried in the dirt, if you don't look closely, you won't find it. Jeez, this one sounds like it's going to be a pain. But once you dig it up, you'll know if it's a firefly fungus or not. For one thing, it glows with a light green color. Light green... I'm, I'm a little concerned that this stuff is... Like, the details are going to be important. Light green. So that's why it's called a firefly fungus? Well, that makes sense. Alright, have I explained things clearly enough? Oops. Alright, have I explained things clearly enough? I started speaking in Joshua's voice. So basically, all we need to do is find a glowing mushroom in a patch of grass along the Malga Trail, right? Looks that way to me. Well, if they're really growing in the ground, we probably won't be able to find one so easily. If you run into any trouble, come back and speak with me again. I ask that you find one as soon as possible. Okay. Let's see. So we got the mushroom. Permanent. Searching for a flower known as the a bear claw. A savory pinion. The former is native to the, the fourth of mistle. I wonder. Oh, so like this one doesn't require me to talk to him. It's, it, it doesn't say so right here. That's kind of. So that's nice to know. Okay, so. Soldier training. Um, soldiers stationed at Verte Bridge are set to undergo special training, and we're looking for a few good men or women to play parts of enemy soldiers. This one has low difficulty. Alright, so, um, the Verte checkpoint on the west end of the main road. I don't know what the Verte checkpoint is, but, alright. That's fine. Um... Malga Trail. Malga Trail was this way? Okay, and what was the... <laughs> grassy Patches. Okay. Also, a thunderstorm approaches. It's quiet though, so hopefully that doesn't interrupt the recording. Jesus. Flowery soda. Those things are nuts to fight. Okay, grassy patch. There's a lot of grassy patch here. Let's check. Oh, here we go. Aha! What's up? 
What's with the sudden outburst? I found it! Now to claim our prize. And my phone went off. There we go. Found Firefly Fungus. Isn't that... You think so too? The place it's growing seems about right. And it's got that soft green glow. This has to be the Firefly Fungus that What's-His-Face was talking about. You mean Orvid, right? Yeah, that's who I meant. It doesn't look all that tasty, but I'm pretty sure it's... It doesn't look all that tasty, but it sure is pretty for a mushroom. Almost like the glow of septium, if you ask me. Septium? What's up, Joshua? I may be worrying too much, but I think you better put that mushroom in your bag quickly, Estelle. What the? Just like I figured. The mushroom attracts... Estelle, look out! Unless these are, like, horribly different from anything else I thought, they should be easy. Yeah. No problem. Now that was a surprise, I tell ya. Did you put that thing away? Yep, it's all taken care of. The light emitted by raw septium has the power to attract monsters. This mushroom also seems to have the same effect. That sneaky merchant! He never mentioned a single thing about this! Anyway, let's hurry back to town. Right. Just wait till I get my hands on you, you conniving merchant. He might not have known. <laughs> Alright. His name was like Orvid or something. What's that you say? You found the mushroom. Yep, we found it alright. Oh, wonderful. That might be different than the one we heard about from you. You see, this mushroom attracts monsters. Uh, well, it's like this. So even though you knew the risk, you hired us for the job, Orvid? What? How was I supposed to know something like that? And besides, a bracer's job is to deal with danger, right? Well, a little heads up would have been nice, so we could have at least been prepared. Never mind us. The big question here is your motive. What do you intend to use this mushroom for? Yeah, this thing could be you. Yeah, this thing could be a weapon. Fess up, you had some big nefarious plan in mind, right? A nefarious mushroom plan! Or what? Isn't it obvious what I'm going to use it for? For cooking, of course. W what Cooking? Are you trying to tell me that people actually eat this thing? This is why it's such a pain to deal with country bumpkins. In the hands of a skilled chef, the more distinct the ingredient, the more profound the taste. And from that perspective, the firefly fungus is the king of them all. This is, no doubt, the ultimate ingredient. Uh, so pretty much what you're saying is that it's for people with bizarre eating habits? <laughs> That's the talk of one unacquainted with the true delicacy. But then again, commoners such as yourself would never have opportunity to try such dishes. And praise be to heaven for that. I never want to gnaw on a ratty green mushroom like that. Agreed. It looks pretty nasty. Anyway, I have other business preparations to make. Now, if you don't mind, I'll ask you to hand that mushroom and leave. Yeah, please take it. On behalf of this mushroom, I shall... On behalf of this mushroom, I shall turn a blind eye to your ignorance. And as promised, I will pay you, so be grateful to your client. I'm just gonna buy that mushroom, I hope you know. Come on, Joshua, let's go. Please excuse us, we'll be going now. Yes, please do. What were we going to get as a reward for that anyways? Um, oh, just 700 Mira? Not much, but I do I do need as much Mira as possible. Ah, la, 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 la. I'm so turned around. Wait, this is the right way I go. <laughs> I need to stop, like, flipping the, uh, the thing around. Report. Current rank is Junior Bracer 8th Class. Good work! It seems that you completed your objective without any trouble. If you finish any other jobs, please come and report it again. Alright, south, right? This is where we can get the flower? No! No!
no. East is the mist vault. Beware. Is that? Hold on. Mist vault. It also said difficulty high. I just noticed that. What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it hurts. It hurts. Oh my gosh. These things, these things are tough. Tough. Oh. Oh man. Oh man. This was, this was a, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. Why did the, why did the church pastor have the hardest one? Oh my god. Okay. I don't know if I want to go deeper. I, I shouldn't. I need to like regroup. I need to like... Oh, nuts. Oh, nuts. Wait, what did I get? I kind of clicked back. Whatever. I don't care. We're going... We're going back north. But maybe I should do, like, the easier request first. So is the Orbment one easy? That one's medium. And then the soldiers are low. Okay, so... What are... How is equipment doing so far? Okay, so I, I have the strongest of those. I could have stronger armor. There's there's definitely equipment upgrades I could do. Um, let's give her the better armor, only because I have her with the um, the healing type stuff. So I feel like having her like live longer is better for me in the long run. Shop. Uh, sell. Leather vest. Topaz talisman. Alright, oh, that's the one that changes my, um, my element. I'm gonna go ahead and make one of these attack ones. <clears throat> I don't know if it'll make much of a... Oh, it gives him Firebolt. It lowers his defense by one, but it increases his offense by a little bit, which might be enough to just, like, one-shot some of these enemies that I've been kind of... sort of been complaining that I want to, to kill. Okay, so let's go... Let's go this way, just because we can do the medium and the easy quest. So... I need to count the lamp posts. Does this count as a lamp post? It's one, two, three. Is this it? Six? From what Freddy said, I think this is the road lamp. I'm fairly certain this is the right one, too. It says road lamp number six on the panel as well. You're right, it does! Alrighty then, let's get to work and finish this job. Unfortunately, it may not be that easy. What do you mean? Oh. Where'd all these monsters come from? Looks like that orbment really has burned out. Anyway, one of us will need to fend off the monsters while the other replaces the orbment. Yeah, you're right. Well then. Is there... Leave the monsters to me. Leave the monsters to me. Why did Estelle appear in the background? Oh 
Okay. I'll open the maintenance panel, so hold them off until then, Estelle. Cut it! Phew, so have you monsters had enough? There she goes again. How's everything on your side, Joshua? I'm putting in the combination right now. Let's see. It was 544818, I think. Okay. <clears throat> I'm okay here, so just focus on the work. Alright, it's open. Now all we need to do is replace the orb net. Oh baby, I'm on a roll! Come on, come on, come on, you monsters! Sorry to have kept you waiting, Estelle. The work here is done. Huh? D done? Wait, so you've already replaced the orb net? Yep, I don't think we'll need to worry about any more monsters. Sheesh, that's it! Sound like that's a bad thing. <laughs> Must be your imagination. You are really something else. So what I was told about, and thankfully it's because I was doing a Patreon um, stream for this that they later told me what I had missed out on was I guess I get an additional BP by having Estelle input the code. So that's what I'm gonna do here, but let's see what, what happens that's different. <laughs> how about you handle them, Joshua? Do you really know how to replace one of these things? Come on, Joshua, how hard can it be? Even I could do something as simple as replacing an ornament. So I'm the girl who glued her hand to her head once, but all right, if you say so. I'm counting on you, Estelle. Got it! takes care of the first wave. How's it coming, Estelle? I'm entering the combination for the maintenance panel right now. Um, I'm pretty sure the code was... <sighs> Wait, I remember it had the double fours. Okay, 544818. It's open! Sometimes I'm too smart for my own good. I'm okay here, Estelle. So, just focus on fixing the lamp. Got it! Now for the ornament, which goes in like that, and voila! Perfect! Good work, Estelle. All the monsters seems to have gone, too. Phew! I sure got... I sure got all stressed out over this job. Considering the circumstances, it seemed pretty reasonable to me. But the thing that surprised me the most was that you remembered the combination. Do you want to know the truth? I actually just saw a jumble of numbers in my head and the buttons I happened to press were the right ones. I should have figured as much. Here's something else. A anyway, our job is done here, so let's just think about something else. I guess you're right. Alright, how about we head back to town? We'd better go and report to Freddy. Alright, let's go! Alright, and that takes care of that and I'll get more BP for that, I guess. Okay, so they said that like there was something on this checkpoint. Also, I don't think I've been to this area. Let me make sure that I look for treasure chests. We'll kind of skim the outer perimeter here. Nothing. Alright, I've combed this area. Verte Bridge. Also, if you hear like a crackling sound, that's the rain. Like, hitting the window really hard. The checkpoint here almost gets no travelers and it's quiet. All I can hear is the babbling of the river and the chirping song of birds. This is way more relaxing than the farm where I've worked before. Okay. I'm stuck standing here today, but travelers are incredibly sparse. Man, I'm so bored. With all this free time. That is a loud thunderbolt. <laughs> that is really... It's still rumbling. I don't think I ever mentioned this, but there was a... There was a house that was like very close to me that um, got hit by like a, a bolt and it caught on fire and that thing it burnt to the ground. I don't know why I'm talking about that right now in the middle of a, a storm, but whatever. <laughs> well, in this free time, I've started trying to find shapes in the clouds as they pass by. All I can hear is the babbling of the river and chirping- oh wait, so okay, you said that already. You're just pacing around here. 
Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua, too. Hello, Mr. Ashton. It's been a while since we last met. Yes, it has. So, I've heard my boy Luke caused you a lot of trouble, did he? I'm absolutely ashamed as a father. I'm sure it's perfectly normal for a boy his age to be naughty like that. I mean, even I ran out around outside of town when I was young. Yeah, and you're supposed to be a girl. <laughs> you certainly are full of energy as usual. I'd love to get you a share of some of that vig vigor with my new recruits. Blah. <clears throat> I've been thinking recently about doing a simulated battle to whip my men into shape. So I put in a request at the guild for a few good men or women to play the part of enemy soldiers. I think the pair of you will be perfect fit for the job, so how about it? Can you do this for me? Sure. Sure, we'll do it. I'll gladly accept. Thanks, I really appreciate this. Go ahead and take a break until the preparations are ready. If I don't have you in tip-top condition, there's no point in doing the training. <laughs> then I'm ready for an afternoon nap. Alright then, we'll get ourselves ready. Sure, please do what you need to. Alright, training begins now. Everyone advance five steps forward. Ready yourselves. I know I was bored before, but... I, I know it's just training and all, but it still scares the living daylights out of me. This is a training exercise, so please refrain from speaking. You all need to take this seriously as it were a real battle. Estelle and Joshua, you don't need to hold back on my men. That was my intention from the beginning. I'll do as you request. Yikes! Forward. I mean, said not to hold back, right? Paintball? Paintball does- paintballs do hurt, though. One down. Oh, it got me, um, some of that null color septium. Cease fighting! This training is over. Ow, 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 ow! Oh my goodness, it's finally over! Good job, everyone. Can I say pathetic? You guys really supposed to be soldiers? H hey, you be quiet! We're not all feral kids like you! How about you try and say that one more time? Knock it off, Scott. Training is over. You seriously need to cool down too, Estelle. I hate sore losers. Private Scott, Private Harold, I think what Estelle said just a moment ago is how the citizens of this region really feel. Do you really have what it takes to protect them? It seems as though the both of you need to take another look in the mirror. Yes, sir. Very good. Do not forget what you learned today and strive to fulfill your duties. I must be mad trying to do this while... The problem is, like, the, there's been, like, a series of storms and nonsense, and it's just, like, I really want to get recording and editing done, but this is what happens? <sighs> Still and Joshua, thanks for your hard work today. Thanks to you, I feel my... I think... Blah, blah, blah. Thanks to you, I think my soldiers have gotten the wake-up call they needed. There's no need to thank us. It's us who should be thanking you. This was excellent training. I agree. This was a good learning experience. <laughs> if you think so, then you're set for life as bracers. Though our positions may be different, we are both here to serve the public. Although I can't do much else, I'll pray for the success of the both of you. Sure, and thanks again. Take care of yourself. I will, and I hope that I'll be seeing you again sometime. Okay. I wonder how those two will talk differently to me. I hate being bored like this, but training is even worse. My body seriously aches all over. Ow. Okay. Whew, if not for that training, this place would be more placid, placid than the farm. 
Okay. Is there anything past this? No. Okay. I suppose later we'll be able to go through there. Maybe. Um... Let's head back. Hopefully turning this in, I can buy new armor for Joshua. And then we can try and take on that really hard request. I'm a little leery on if we can do it that way. Okay, yeah. Wait, what? Though the city and clock tower have been rebuilt, there are many unseen wounds that linger in people's hearts. There was something I just skipped. Hold on. If I go out and come back in, we'll... Ten years ago, the Imperial Army broke through the borders and surrounded Roland. And in an effort to convince us to surrender, they bombarded the clock tower. <sighs> I apologize for making you recall such painful memories. No, it's alright, really. Huh? What was that about? Oh, I need to turn in the orbiment one directly to this person, of course. We're back, Freddy! Oh, hi, Estelle. The look on your face, it seems you finished the job. From the look on your face, it seems like you finished the job. Yep, and we did a fine job, too. Although we did have a few hang-ups, we thought it would report to you as a matter of good measure. So it really was burnout, huh? I'm sure it happened because we were late replacing it. Sorry, kids. We put you in harm's way because of me. There's no need to apologize. It comes with the territory. Dealing with dangerous jobs is part of a bracer's work. I appreciate you saying that. Oh, I know. How about I give you this to make amends? Impede two quartz. This is a quartz? Yep, it's an MP2 quartz. It can prevent an enemy's arts. It can be pretty useful if you use it effectively. Thanks! I appreciate it. No, thank you for the both of you today. If you need to discuss anything about orbaments, then stop by anytime. Don't forget to swing by if you have any other business needs. Ooh. So... MP2... I'm gonna put that on him just because I use like Estelle way more for like all that healing and that's just like always being used I'm sure that will change but let's go this way um all right turn the request in but um I'm not gonna repeat that line over and over um now can I afford Yeah. Oh my gosh. Getting them better armor was a good choice. Also, he can like one-shot those things now. Now Estelle's the one who can't one-shot them. Oh my gosh, this poison is nuts! Does the poison persist after... Okay, I don't know if it actually does or doesn't. Oh. Difficult to hit. So I wonder if I should... It looks like it's strong against fire? Am I reading that right? Or is it weak against fire? I guess there's only one way to find out. We cast that. And we compare the damage. Oops. Let's see. 294. It's weak against fire. What is that? I'm a little nervous about what I'm fighting here. This 
weak to water and fire. It has great defense. This is a dead end, obviously. <gasps> Bear claw. Okay. Let's get out of here. If I can find my way out. I found another bear claw. I found a chest. A high jumpsuit. Oh, it's better. The chest is oh so very empty. Where? I'm so turned around. Like, ah! Oh! Let's fight this thing. <laughs> Another chest. This is not what I wanted though. Back for more, eh? Some people are never satisfied. Ah! Uh, shoot! Burn it! Burn it! I'm a little... I hate wasting these tear bombs, but it's like... I don't know where I am. I'm lost. And I don't have a map to orient myself. And I didn't pay attention to which direction I started from. Although seeing these bees is good because they were near the entrance, weren't they? It should be this way, right? Oh, I think I've got it. Okay, I think we're out. Yes! We might have to fight a few enemies on our way out of here, but, but who cares? Phoenix, be quiet. Oh wait, no, no, no. I need to turn it into the church first. Well, if it isn't Estelle, you seem to be in a cheerful mood as usual. Tee <laughs> Here you are! These are for you, Father Divine! Handed over the Bear Claw and Savory Pinion. This is... Bear Claw and Savory Pinion you were looking for. Please use them as medicinal ingredients. You requested these at the guild, right? That's right! I did put in a request! I'm just surprised that you went through all the trouble to do this for me. Weren't you hurt trying to gather these? Nope, we were totally fine! I mean, we were fine. Well, maybe minus the totally part. <laughs> I'm worried about your attitude, Estelle. Eh? Why? There's nothing to be worried about. I know I've told you this before. It's certainly a joyous occasion when everything goes well. However, it is in times when we sh However, it is at these times when we should gird our loins for the trials that lie ahead. Okay, I'll be more careful from now on. Hmm, since I seem to have a bit of spare time, how about I take this opportunity to give you a special sermon? No, anything but that! I I'm sorry, Father, but we really got to get going. You still got work left to do, right, Joshua? Why do you have to bring me into this? Please excuse us, Father, but we have to get back to the guild. That's too bad. However, since it is has to do with your job, I must respect your position. Thank you for all your hard work, Estelle and Joshua. I pray that the goddess will always be with you. Alright. I think that does a pretty good job at rounding up all of this. So we just need to go speak to the mayor. Alright guys, that will do it for episode 4 of Trails in the Sky. Um, I think we got a lot of things done. We managed to, at the very least, complete the side quest. So now we can move on to basically dealing with the, um, the main mayor quest thing that he has for us, which we will do in the next episode. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye!